today is hubby's first day of work so we're having some breakfast what do you have Good morning. What are you having, babe? Yogurt and granola. And a banana. And I had a cutie. And a cutie. And some coffee. And I'm just having some mixed fruit. Really quick breakfast before we have to leave to take him to work. And then I have a busy day today. I have a lot of stuff to do. So, oh, and then I'm going to try and clean up this house. Thomas, it is. So, yeah, I'll bring you along with me today as much as I can, as much as I remember. I know I'm going to be busy. So, I apologize in advance if I don't catch everything on camera. There he goes. Just dropped him off. I don't know if you guys can see him. Okay, so just dropped off hubby for his um, first day of work. Now I'm gonna try and go to that grocery store, Winko. Hopefully I can find it from here. I'm pretty sure I can find it. I have a pretty decent sense of direction, but hubby said he was kind of nervous for his first day and I don't blame him. So I pray all goes well and we'll see. I can't wait for him to tell me all about it when he comes home. Um, he's actually gonna catch a ride home with his friend, so I don't need to um, pick him up. I just needed to drop him off and uh, Maybe I should wait here for a few minutes. I think just in case he has to like go somewhere because Somebody was supposed to meet him to take him around or something. I don't know, but yeah, we'll see I don't know if you guys can see but it's a gorgeous day out Super super gorgeous I don't know where I'm going. And I made it to Winko. Yay! Okay, hi. Sorry, I didn't film all day today because I was so busy running around. Um, I went to the office to have them take care of the toilet. And I turned in like our, um, I don't know, like our sheet of like everything that was wrong with the apartment before we moved in so that we're not liable for that kind of stuff when we move out. So nothing was really wrong with it. Um, the toilet is just kind of runny, so they're gonna come in and fix that. Um, I went to Winco, I think I filmed there. I found a lot of stuff at Winco, but I wasn't able to find furikake. So I ended up having to go to the Asian market, which they had furikake, so thank goodness. I think we're gonna make the furikake salmon this weekend and we're gonna invite our friends over because hopefully by that time we'll have our dining room set up um, I went to Old Navy to go look for hubby his thermals um, there only was one left and it was on the clearance rack I found some stuff for me too so that was good I did not end up going to Costco well I went to Costco and I couldn't go in because I forgot my Costco card in my other bag so I'll just go to Costco tomorrow but I was able to return the toaster and I'm gonna surprise hubby with his favorite chicken parm tonight because it was his first day of work and I just want to do something nice for him so I bought the stuff to do chicken parm I'm gonna test out the bread machine that I got this is the bread machine that I got this is the one I wanted I got it from Goodwill and it was a score it was priced at $19.99 but because it was President's Day, they were having a sale, so I got it for $11. So I have seven days to try it out to make sure it works, and I bought the ingredients. I'm going to make the, um, try and make the King's Hawaiian sweet bread, um, and then have that with, like, our chicken parm tonight. So hopefully that turns out good. And then, um, I have to do dishes. <laughs> Ugh, yuck. So I'm going to do that right now after I'm done doing the dishes. Hopefully my laptop died. Hopefully my laptop will um, be charged by then and I can look up like the what ingredients to put in first for like the bread machine and stuff. So I'll have that cooking when hubby comes home. So hopefully it smells good and he can come home to a house that smells yummy after his first day of work. And yeah, I'm going to start putting all this stuff away because I don't know. He's catching a ride home with his friend so I don't know if he's going to come in and want to stay for a little bit i don't want this place looking like a crazy place so yeah i'm just gonna go do that now and maybe i'll film later when i can or during the process or whatever so i had a busy day today but i hope your guys' day was going okay and i just wanted to say hi 
and check in. Okay guys, so I cleaned out the bread machine and I prepared all the ingredients and now I'm going to attempt to make some bread. So we'll see how this works out. Um, let me just try and film while I'm doing this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, but yeah, let's see. I'll do the best I can so you guys can see me trying it. Okay, so there's all the ingredients. And it says that typically bread machines like the wet ingredients first so we'll go ahead and do the wet ingredients first um i guess we'll start off with this is pineapple juice so we'll put the pineapple juice in there okay um i guess we'll do the honey then we'll put in the egg uh, we'll do the vegetable oil. Maybe we should put the flour in. I don't know. Let's see. Now let me try and dump it in. Okay, now we'll do the dry milk. And the salt. And the yeast. Now, let's see. Open this bad boy up. I guess I just put it in here. Okay, this is in. Just make sure the handle's down. Close it up. Oh, I gotta plug it in. Hello, Mary. I guess we're done. Alright, we'll just start it. I don't know what it's doing. Alright, we'll check back in a little bit and see what it's doing because right now it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Hi guys! Okay, so the bread machine was a bust. Um, it turns on and everything and like you can hear the motor going and the settings and everything work. The only thing that um, doesn't work is the kneading thing. Like the handle that's supposed to turn to mix all the dough. So, I mean, of course, if it's not going to get mixed, then it's not going to work. So, I have to go and return it tomorrow, which is within the seven days. So, that's perfectly fine. I'll just get my money back and try and look for another bread machine. I don't know if I'm going to take a chance and buy a used one again. I'm probably just going to buy a new one. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, anyway, so right now I'm cooking dinner. Let me show you what I got going. I have more of that in the oven. I'm like obsessed. Hubby's not too fond of it. I mean, it's, it's okay. He, he likes it, but it's not his favorite. But I we have it and I don't want it to go bad, so I'm just making it. And then I wanted to show you guys one of the best kitchen tools ever made. Why are you happy, babe? Hmm? You already know what I'm going to show them? Yeah. This thing right here. The best invention in the whole world. Let me show you. Okay, before the battery runs out, because I see the battery light flashing, let me just show you. Watch this. Okay, you take this thing. Take your mushroom. Put it in. And boom. Look at that. Do it again. I'm going to keep doing it until the battery dies. So you guys can see this awesomeness right here. This is like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I would cry really, really hard if I lost this. Because I've seen other ones in the market, like around and stuff. But they're not as durable as this one. And I like how this one makes like that snap when it's done. Like you can hear it. And look how perfect the mushrooms come out. Look at that. Can you see it? And oh my god, these mushrooms were so cheap. They were like a dollar for the tray. <laughs> Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Just breaded the chicken. Now I'm gonna throw it in the oven. Here it goes. 
the cooking mushroom. That's my alarm to take the chicken out. So that looks good. The chicken came out perfect. We're gonna transfer it into this pan and put some cheese and stuff on it and then bake it for a little bit more, all right? Okay guys, here's the finished product. Here's the chicken parm. Here's the noodles. I grilled some King's Hawaiian sweet bread and there's our veggies. So I'm gonna plate everything and then me and hubby will eat. I'll show you when it's plated. I don't know if you can see, so I'm going to use my flashlight. Okay, here's the finished product. Some Brussels sprouts, the chicken parm, and the grilled sweet bread. We're gonna dig in. There's hubbies. Cannot see. There's hubbies. Alright, bye!